Stressed out? Well, you might not have to rely on drugs to lower your blood pressure anymore. A medical reporter, John Hammerly, I'll tell you how meditation may be able to replace your medication coming up. For your health, by the age of 60, 6 out of 10 Americans will have blood pressure high enough to treat with drugs. And millions more can have hypertension that could cause a heart attack, even a stroke. But is medication the only answer? Medical reporter John Hammerly says no, and he's here with an explanation. John, what's up? Well, Clarice, too many people have high blood pressure. That's what's up. And high blood pressure is a time bomb inside of your blood vessels. If that bomb goes off, your heart, brain, or kidneys can be targets. Americans spend hundreds of millions of dollars every year trying to ease that threat, but a recent study shows meditation instead of medication may do the trick. Florence Humphreys is feistier than most other 80-year-olds, but for years that feistiness worked against her. She had high blood pressure. She didn't want to pop any pills, so she plopped herself down and learned how to meditate. You know, when you sit for 20 minutes twice a day, that's 40 minutes out of 24 hours. And you can, you can feel your heart slowing down. You can feel what's going on. And, uh, I mean, with that much rest, everything's going to work better, and it does for me. Florence was afraid her son had joined a cult, so she tried transcendental meditation herself and found out she was wrong. Transcendental meditation is purely a mental technique, and the benefits are very practical and real, and they've been verified through some 500 different scientific studies. The latest of which was published recently in the American Heart Association journal, Hypertension. It showed TM significantly reduced the blood pressure levels in African Americans. For mild hypertension, these, these are as impressive numbers as some medications, yet no side effects. Dr. Lewis Kriegel has been a Dallas surgeon for 50 years and was also impressed with the study's results. The decrease has been significantly enough to um, show that uh, the TM is better than other types of relaxation or definitely better than medications. TM is not religious, it's not a cult, and it can be done anywhere. You could do it on a plane, you could do it on a train, you could do it in a bus, you could do it in a car if you're not the person driving. And you wouldn't attract attention to yourself by doing it. TM has not only knocked down Florence's blood pressure by 60 points, but it's rejuvenated the last 14 years of her life. It's 20 minutes of just pure rest. That's all I can say. How it works, I don't know. But it works. And it's been the greatest thing in the world for me. I should change my birthday to the day, <laughs> the date I started meditation. The National Institutes of Health has awarded another million and a half dollars for a follow-up study on the benefits of meditation.